So, so far we have talked about filtration as the thing when you actually filtrate, but you have to think of the entire filtration cycle if you're actually going to design how big a filtration unit you need. So the first step is filtration. And then once you have built up a cake uh, big enough, uh, then it's pretty often that you, you actually compress it. So you have some kind of diaphragm here and you apply a pressure and try to squeeze out some of the liquid. Now, if, if the cake now is your product, uh, you would definitely uh, want to wash it, right? If you have uh, requirements of high purity. So you need to put in something to get rid of whatever is left in the cake. And once you've done that, you'd, well, you have added more liquid water or whatever it is you have. And then you can uh, press out that water again. So use another expression stage here. And then to get rid of the remaining liquid, the clean, uh, hopefully liquid, but still liquid, you can blow air through it and then you empty. Uh, and perhaps you need to clean it as well. And then you can uh, start from the beginning again and start to filtrate. And this washing step, well, if it's an ideal washing step, you can think of it as uh, the clean water pushing the dirty water in front of it. And then the ideal case would be that when you have uh, used uh, a cleaning volume that is exactly the same as uh, the porosity times the volume of the cake, then everything, every, all the dirt liquid has gone, right? But the ideal is not the real world. Uh, so in reality, the volume required is always larger. There might be some enclosed pockets of dirty liquid that you may never get out. There will be dispersion and diffusion. Uh, and it will also be different tortuosity in the different channels and what have you. So it's actually rather difficult to predict the required volume. Uh, so you need to take into account the required purity uh, of your product, if the cake is the product. And uh, yeah, so this is rather difficult to predict. Well, uh, another thing that makes it difficult to predict is what will the flow rate be uh, during the washing stage? Well, if you don't ex express anything, so if you don't apply any pressure to pressure out liquid, then uh, and you use the same kind of liquid as the solvent you used in the filtration stage, well, then you can say that the flow rate should be the same as the flow rate at the end of the filtration. But if you apply pressure to pressure out some liquid, then uh, the flow rate during the washing will likely be a lot smaller, a lot lower than uh, the flow rate at the end of the filtration. 